Hi guys, my name is Calvin. I'm from Germany and I'm a digital artist and trainer for retouching and photography. And I'd like to explain you in this tutorial the power of the blend mode soft light. It's a shame that so many photographers and retouchers out there do not know the power of soft light when you like to create a compositing. And I'd like to explain you right now step by step how I do my compositings. Well, it's not a real extracting the model from the background. It's more kind of cheating. You know what that is? Cheating? If you are playing video games, you can uh, push some buttons in a combination and then you will never die. That's cheating. Or this um, Tomb Raider game, Lara Croft, when she's running around, you were pushing some buttons and suddenly she was naked. Okay, different kind of story. But let me explain you right now how to cheat with the blend mode soft light. So what you can see here is not a one-shot image, it's a compositing. And this compositing is done within two minutes. It's very, very easy to do. Let me show you another image. Let me show you my friend Eberhard from Cologne. And this is also compositing. Well, it's not a spectacular background, it's just a, a texture, but I think it's more interesting than a seamless gray background. And here is another image. Let me show you this one. And you can see this guy have long hair, but no problem. With this technique, what I'm showing you right now, you are able to create a compositing in two minutes, not more. And no problem if the, the guy have black hair, blonde hair, doesn't matter. Here are some more images. Also, this one is a compositing and, whoa, 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 happy Xmas. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and also this one, this one is a compositing too. I'm shooting all the models on a seamless gray background. This is very important. Let me explain you in a couple of minutes why. So here's another one. Here's another image of Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, Johnny was in my studio. No, I'm just kidding. This is just a double, but he looks very, very close to Jack Sparrow. And we can see here all the hair here, what we have, no problem with this kind of compositing, what I'm teaching you right now. Okay, here is uh, the image. And what I like to do is I like to add this texture. And here is the thing, the most important thing of all. You have to shoot your models on a gray background, on a gray seamless background. And perfect is a darker gray background. So do not use a lighter gray background. Many people are asking me, what kind of background is that? Do you have a name for that color, for that gray? Different companies, different names. So it's very hard to explain. You need a dark gray. Most of the time it's maybe thunder gray, but it depends a little bit on the company. And you can see my gray here. It's a darker gray background. That, that is very important. I'm using a, a paper background, doesn't matter. It just have to be a darker gray. And you can only add textures. Sometimes you can also add a dark room, a dark location behind the model. But with this technique, what I'm teaching you right now, if you like to add a texture, everything is fine. You will not get in trouble. You can't add a beach with powerful colors in the background or with the sun in the background. That's not possible. So this technique, what I'm teaching right now, is for adding a texture if you are shooting a model in front of a dark gray seamless background. And this is it. So here is my new background. Let me make that a little bit uh, larger. So it's a texture. And all you have to do is you have to switch the blend mode to soft light. Done. It's very, very easy and it's it's crazy, but it works fine. Okay, for this image, it's super fast, but most of the time you need maybe one or two minutes, but not more, because the best thing is that you are creating right now a mask on that layer, on your texture, and paint with a black brush where you don't like to have the background, and you don't like to have the background on the face. But you can see, without painting on a mask, 
that this background, this new texture will affect on the seamless dark gray background and not so much on the person. And that is crazy, but it works fine. And you will not have any problems with flying hair here. And this is crazy, I love that, and I do that for years now, and so many people out there still do not know this technique. But now it's over. <laughs> now you can create compositing like uh, this, and you, you can see it's very easy and it's very fast. But make sure you create your mask, and then you can paint here on the model where you will not uh, like to have the details or the texture of the background. Sometimes uh, you, you can see it, you can see the texture here of the background on the model, but make sure you paint here just a little bit. And you can see in the before after, it's very fast and very cool. And the coolest thing is all the shadows, all the lights, what you have here, all the lighting mood, what is in the picture are still in the picture here. And that is very, very nice. So if your model, if you do a full body shot and if your model is standing maybe on the mirror, on, on a glass, what is lying on the floor, then you will have this kind of mirror and no problem with that also. All the shadows stay in the image. Give them a try, try that out. It's very, very easy, but don't use the blend mode normal. With the blend mode normal, your compositing looks a little bit like, mm, no, not good. So make sure you are using the blend mode soft light. And most of the time, you can also use overlay. Play a little bit around with these two blend modes. But my favorite blend mode is soft light. And by the way, the German word for this blend mode is weiges Licht. Thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial. And uh, I hope you will have a lot of fun in the future with this kind of uh, compositing <clears throat> cheating. Okay, guys, have fun. See you soon.